Good morning everybody. Today we're going to choose our tomato varieties for our summer 2023 garden. We'll start with the tomatillos and ground cherries. That's easy to choose. I only have two varieties. Those are the ones we're going to start. The Gigante Verde and Aunt Molly's ground cherry. For tomatoes, I'll pick some paste varieties, some slicers, and some cherry tomato varieties. So let me go ahead and separate them into those types. This one is a spoon tomato variety. It was cute, it was novel, but I don't think I'm gonna do that one again. Okay, I feel like I had more tomato varieties than this, but this is plenty. So for our cherry tomatoes, which usually start producing first. I'm gonna try this new honeycomb hybrid. I always have to do some sweeties. This is just a, another sweetie. Sunrise Bumble is my favorite um, cherry tomato. Golden Nugget is one that I always enjoy doing. And the blueberries, I did not like that much, so we're not gonna do those. For our slice of tomatoes, the flavor of these Dr. Witchy's tomatoes was good, but they weren't as productive for me, so I'm not going to do those. These um, Querida F1 hybrids, they were pretty good. I want to give them another chance um, to see if I can get more productivity out of them this year. These pink Belgiums, they ripened way too late in the season. Um, you didn't get very many of them and I won't be doing those again. The Kellogg's breakfast, that was a good one, we'll do that. I don't remember what, oh, that's the pink Belgium. Yeah, we're not doing that. The Brandywine hybrid, I liked it, but I like the beefsteak a little bit better, so we'll do that one. So we're just gonna do three slicer varieties as far as the paste tomatoes we have some San Marzano they were okay um, not great not bad but pretty good I think we'll hold off on those these Roma ones I haven't used those before from this particular brand but in general I do like the Roma I just gonna finish up um, using this bag that's already open did I use these yet? Yeah, I did use these Martino Martino's Roma. Uh, I think I'm gonna use these. These were pretty prolific though. Uh, I'm gonna do both. These ones were fun and they were pretty prolific. I didn't do them last year. I think I did them the year before or the year before that, I can't remember. But, um, they were fun, kind of novel, pretty productive. Nah. And Amish paste, I do enjoy those, so we'll do those. So those are the variety of tomatoes that we're gonna plant this year. Got our cherries, beef steaks, and paste tomato. And have a beautiful day, everybody. Bye-bye.